Well, hello friends, Coach Bob with you today, and today we're gonna be talking about phone mounts. Not any phone mount, not every phone mount, but it's the big old hawk in my front yard, there he goes. Hopefully he's gonna get that mole that I've been trying to get rid of. <laughs> the phone mount that I use. I get this question more often than you realize, and I know I've done videos on it, and things have changed a little bit, so I, I want to give you what I'm using now and show you what I'm using now and how I use it. So stick around, you're going to find this interesting, and if you don't have a phone mount, this could be a solution for you. It's not a cheap one, though, I'm going to tell you that. All right, here we go. All right, so we are here beside my 2019 Can-Am Spider RT. Anything from 14 to 19, this is going to work on. Again, this is not the cheapest way to do it, but in my opinion, it is absolutely rock solid and I've been thousands of miles and I'm very satisfied with the way this works. So let me, I'm just gonna disassemble this. Now I'm doing this with one hand. It's important for me to be able to do a lot of things with one hand. So this right here is the Ram arm. We'll take all this apart. You can see that it pops right off. This is the actual phone mount itself. We'll talk about that a few, in a few minutes. This is made by a company called Quadlock. Uh, I'm very, very happy with this. I wanted something that I could take off of one motorcycle and put on another motorcycle. So if I come over here to my Tiger, same exact mount, just a different color. And this mount right here works wonderful on this. I take my phone, put it on the other motorcycle. I could take it from motorcycle to motorcycle to motorcycle to car to car to car. This is my Garmin Zumo XT mount. It's mounted the exact same way. It's mounted to a Ram ball right here with a little extension arm. This came in the box with Garmin Zumo. So everything I needed with the exception of the Ram ball. So let's talk about the Ram ball. This Ram ball just basically screws into a hole that hole right there. So this octagonal piece right here is made by Le Monster. It is called the spider cuff. I was seeing if I could just turn the ram ball with my hand. I'd have to get a wrench to loosen that because I did Loctite it. But you can see this thing has little tapped holes on every side. So if I wanted to put a drink holder here, I could move this, this GPS mount to the top. I can move things around. So even where you have your two connection screws, I'll call them, you still have a tap hole there. Now you obviously you don't have you don't have a tap hole here, but you have one as low as there, and you have another one as low as there. So you have plenty of mounting options on this thing. The spider cuff for me is like the greatest thing for the Can-Am Spider. So now of course I'm doing this with one hand. Just loosen this up, slides in there. I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit just to where it will not fall out again. I'm just doing simply one hand thing. There's nothing to this. And that's that. And I keep mine mounted more vertically like that. That way I can hit it with my thumb and get my phone out of there. And just snug it up. And there it is, rock solid. And again, this is the Garmin mount. Same exact thing with the Ram ball. I bought several Ram balls when I ordered my my spider cuff, I probably ordered three of them. So the Garmin just locks right in like that. I had a lot of people say, ask me, are you, are you comfortable with that? I wasn't comfortable with that, but over the years I have become comfortable with it. So here's the phone case, the quad lock phone case. This is my iPhone, it's an older one. I think this is an 11, but you can see it just has four notches there that line up with the four notches here. And you take it, you twist it, and there it is. Now, obviously, I'm gonna have to adjust it again because I took it off, you know, for this. But what I try to do is get the, the arm vertical and then turn my phone into a plane about like that. You can mount it not only in the horizontal, you can mount it in the vertical position. Just press the little bar and then all of a sudden it'll click right there. And there's the horizontal position. Now I have a video of me installing the spider cuff. I'll drop a link down below. It's a pretty old video. However, the spider cuff is still available for the 2014, 2019 models. Now for the 2020 model and later, that changes. Le Monster now has a device called the top cuff. It works the same way, basically. I'll drop a link and I'll share some pictures right in here of the top cuff as well. 
I've never used a top cuff. I have, I've had no need to, I have a 19. So, um, but everything I've ever bought from Le Monster has been well thought out, rock solid and machined beautifully. So I have zero complaints. Now the phone mount that I used to use with this was, I think they call it like the phone tang or whatever um, Le Monster sells it. What I liked about it is it was rock solid, it was machine metal. What I did not like about it is it would only work with certain phone cases. If your case was too thick, like if you were using an otter box or something like that, it wasn't gonna work with that. I ended up going with the quad lock case. It's a solid case. I like the case. Um, so this is another mount that is case specific. But what I liked about this is I can take this from this motorcycle to that motorcycle, to those two motorcycles, to the van, to the truck, and I can have the same mounting system in all of them. And that's pretty cool. Now you've seen this thing in action many, many times. Every time I ride, you see it, you see it there. Um, there'll be a little fit video footage of me riding with it, but, but you've seen it thousands of times. And I get this question a lot. So do, don't hesitate to ask that question again. And if I have to make another video or respond you know, however I need to respond, but I always feel like that a picture paints a thousand words. Glad to help. And the same holds true, check this out. So if you're like me and you want everything simple, I'll take my phone off, boom, come over here. Right there. Right there, just like that. Take my GPS, click it in. Now I have a GPS and a phone mount right there, and I can quickly move it over to my spider. I've been very, very pleased with the quad lock system. I've been very, very pleased with my Garmin Zumo XT. The new Zumo 2, the XT2 is out. Um, I hear it's really, really nice, has a lot of features. Am I gonna upgrade? Not at the moment, not for the money. It's just not worth it to me. I'm enjoying the Zumo. So I uh, got some videos to make on that, on how I plan trips. I've had that request also. So I gotta get to work on that. But anyway, just a quick video for that. Be sure and give the video a thumbs up. Keep the family in your prayers and all that stuff. We're doing a lot. Take care of Allie. This week, we're helping our son move in. He got him a, a wonderful job up in Georgia. So we're helping them move, and we're getting ready to get on the road. All right, well, do me a favor until next time. You, yes, you, go out by the motorcycle of your dreams. Eat right, take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you are definitely doing it wrong. I'll see you on the road real soon.